Hello and welcome to the 15th Tech tutorial. 15 already, isn't it nice? This one is requested by Austin Teleno. I am very sorry if I said your name wrong. And this one is all about client stars. However, I've also bundled in all the rings, amulets, destruction catalysts, and everything powered by the client star that you could ever possibly want. Right, so step one is a client star iron. This is what it looks like. It's worth 25,000 EMC. That's about three diamonds or so. And here's how you make it. You just get some Mobius fuel, which you can make with a Philosopher's Stone and some alchemical coal, which you get by making four coal with a Philosopher's Stone. There's the recipe for the Philosopher's Stone. Basically, four of these equals one diamond, so one, two, three diamonds is what a client star iron is value, has the value of. Now the client star, uh, you fill the client star iron by either, you can put it in a collector, but that's not a very efficient way to fill it. So what you do is you chuck it in a uh, antimatter relay, and ooh, look at that power. It charges incredibly fast from an antimatter relay, and the antimatter relay increases the output of the collector. Well, I think I went to this another story. But if you didn't see that, here you go. Now, what you can do with the power in this is, one, you can put it in a transportation tablet, and then you could make other things with it. I mean, I've got red matter on me here. There's another way to fill it. Just chuck it in the fire slot, and boom, full client stuff. So, as you can see, this will fill up very quickly if you're dealing with red matter. So, you can take a few more out. And if you craft these into a square, you can use your own inventory of this. Also good to note, you do not lose the EMC there, generally. Oh yeah, see, anyways, craft four of them and you get the tier two one, a Kleinstar Zwei, which is worth almost 100,000 EMC. Quite in incredibly expensive. There's a few upgrades from it, it's Drive, yeah, yeah, no that's Sphere. But anyways, nope, I just can't leave it like when I, why do I feel like I'm arguing with stuff sometimes? Okay, this is the client sub sphere, which we've got up to 6 million EMC now because each one requires 4, but the Omega, 25 million. Just to put that in perspective, I'll put it in here, I'll chuck almost a stack of red matter in, it's not even half full. It's got just over the amount of EMC it costs to make it in there. Also, you can get EMC out of the client star by putting it in the fire slot here. And then you can just charge another one by putting it into that lightning bolt slot. Also, what this is in my hand is a portable transportation tablet. All you do is just right click within your hand and yeah, works fine. Also, just to show off, oops, damn, I did not mean to make these infinite stacks, stupid things. I'm just going to show off this a little bit. Let's right click with this in my hands. Basic principle of this is you put something in and it gets learned. Once you learn it, put something in of equal EMC value, or similar EMC value, or greater rather, and you can take out the other item. And you see, and you take, don't point at the screen, don't point at the screen, right? And take, putting in the orange wood and taking out the black wood, or Dark wood even. This also applies for other things like do it as an EMC value of 1 because it's so abundant. So if you put it into a fire slot, which as opposed to putting it into you, you can just burn stacks or stuff at a time, just quicker. Then you can just take out, see, more dirt. Everyone needs more dirt. But anyways, and you can use that same principle with the client style in there. Anyways, that's all for those. I'm going to quickly clean my inventory. Now that my client has some power in it, you're going to see what that's useful for. Start as it does not need to be in your hotbar. Okay. <sighs> Which one should I? I'll, I'll take them one at a time. Start with the zero ring. Okay, the pre if you right click with the zero ring, it should fire a snowball. Oh, right. Press V to charge it. And then right click and it puts down a hell of a lot of snow on you. <laughs> the use of this is not great. Although if you're walking over lava, it will turn the lava into obsidian. And that, that's quite fun. That's quite fun, I guess. 
But yeah, different charge levels affect the radius of the snow. Yeah, this isn't that great a thing, really. This is one of the lesser ones. Uh, this void ring is just a passive ability. But basically, if you mine something, and... Mm, I have to show off an alchemical bag at some point. Ah, why not now? I'll just put everything into this tutorial. Okay, so I got an alchemical bag. Let's get my void ring out. Oh, one thing. First, quickly. If you have it in your hand and you hit R, and probably need some EMC on you too, you teleport just like an enderman. That's be within a certain block where I just though. See? No, this is not my FPS being terrible. I'm genuinely teleporting. See? Maybe I should use this when I'm playing. I'll do my tutorial small. But anyways, I'm going to put it into my bag. And now watch as I destroy this dirt block. First of all, it gets pulled towards me. No magnet mode is not on. And it goes into this bag. Now once I gather enough EMC, this thing will eat it. And eventually it will go up to iron, gold, diamonds, dark matter, then red matter. So you can get red matter just from mining. But anyways, let's put this back in here. I'll go through our chemical bags more at some point. Maybe when I do focus on E or something. Uh, Ring of Ignition next. This is a fun one. Let's give it some charge. And let's... Oh god, I've got to be careful here. Let's hit T. Oh. Ah, uh, I just right click and a wall of fire appears. I am I immune to it? Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know it did that. But whenever you walk towards fire, it puts it out just before you arrive there. No, see? Because I am not immune to fire. Okay, I didn't know that. We learned something new every day. Also, if you hit G, you activate it passively, so the ground burns around you. That's like what I did with the snow one, but I forgot to mention it. Sorry. Right, Swift Draw Surrendering Ale. This is a favourite. Double tap space, and you can fly just like creative. Right click, and it shoots that in front. <laughs> yeah, you can see what it does. It makes all mobs, hostile or friendly, just go flying. It's really fun to play around with. And, oh, I want to keep it on me, but I can't. Harvest Goddess Band. It's convenient I am near a certificate village for this. Uh, let's see what happens if I right click. Uh, nothing much. If I press G, however, oh wow. It, it speeds up the growing and looks like it automatically harvests as well. Wow. This isn't bad actually. However, considering how much dark magic it costs to make just for some wheat. Yeah, I'm not particularly favourite of this. Also, it looks like it grows grass. Yay. Now, this is a fun one. The Ring of Arcana. This is all four of those rings bundled with five red matter. So you can fly, you can shoot out fire. Good thing to note, that fire will turn sand. Ooh! Ah, oh, yes! Good pork job. It will cook these pigs. No? Oh, oh maybe this is what my fire did. But if I press R, <laughs> I get my wall of fire back. However, I think I'm immune to fire now. Yeah, this must be one of the passive abilities. Being mid fire. Okay, but if you press C, you can change the mode, because this is made of four different rings. So, right click with this from distance, it doesn't work up close, and it goes flying. How's God's Band? You already know what this does, I don't particularly like it. Right click with this, and it shoots out snowballs, which is kind of fun. And if you press G, all the passive abilities do work as well. Like spontaneous fire. But yeah, it's a very good way to ruin a map. <laughs> very easily. Uh, watch a flowing time. I'm not going to show this off too much, but you charge it up and I think press G. Yeah, it goes into a different mode. What this does is it slows down mobs and it also speeds up machines. Very neat little thing, but I've never really used it. Ah, these two are fun. Vulcan Amulet and Evertide Amulet. Vulcanite amulet, passive, it gives it you immunity to lava, and if you charge it, uh, it lays down some lava, which is convenient if you have any lava, and also immunity to it. Uh, the, the Evertide amulet is very similar, except with water, as you can probably guess. 
Oh yeah, I kept my ring volcano on me because it's so convenient to fly. It really is. There we go. That's what I wanted. I better not try to destroy this world too, too much. Oh, also if you hit R, you shoot like water that goes far away. Also with the fire one, it makes water in a certain block radius disappear, as you probably just saw. By me accidentally doing it. But yeah, uh, immunity to drowning with this, and immunity to lava. So very nice things to have on you if you're ever mining. Ooh, here's two really fun ones I love. All these were powered by the client stuff, just remember. Hit V to charge it a few times, uh, then just right click. And 16 blocks in front of you, 3x3, three three, it will dig out a hole and drop in a nice little... Let's see if I can get a button. See? It's called a loot ball. And it contains everything you just mined. Pick it up, and it's all in your inventory. Now, that is 16 by 3 by 3 in front of you. It doesn't use too much EMC. I think it's about... Uh, I think it's a glowstone per turn. Uh, the Clyde Star, it eliminates the need for stacks and stacks of glowstone in inventory. Which is very, very convenient, trust me. I've gone through a whole inventory's worth of stacks of glowstone in seconds. And this is 64 blocks in front of you. 64. And yeah, I filled my inventory. I better get rid of this. Oh, it lag if I don't get rid of it. Okay, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. Anyway, let's just go back to my little area. Oh yeah, never right click with any of these in your hand. It's deadly. Alright, this one's a little bit different. Hit C, then you need to put a client inside it, and the target material. So, hit V to charge it up. Now, if you hit G, you can see there's extension, creation, transmutation, pillar extension modes, and, yeah, that's all the modes. So, I am going to go to transmutation mode. Now, I put, this is what you make everything into. So if you right click with transportation mode on, it makes everything into dirt. Except obviously the lava and water because they're not actual blocks. That's pretty cool. Can be useful for building. Not that I'm a great builder. Pillar extension mode, a difficult one to use, but eh, I'm not really showing it off all too well. Maybe because I don't know how. Oh there we go. It just kind of extends the land, you see. It's, it's fun to play with. Then there's extension mode where if you look down and place it, then it does a dirt block radius. Well, dirt in this case. But if you kind of get grab the angle, the side of it, it does a wall. So you can very easily make a lovely dirt house, which I have actually done on one server. <laughs> Won't look pretty. No one ever claimed that. Oh, I kind of like that style, but I can't build. <laughs> Um, what else is there? There's creation mode. Let's go to that. I haven't messed around with this mode too much. Yeah, it looks like this mode is similar to extension, except you don't need a block to go off. Oh, uh, okay. That was lucky. Oh yeah, if you run out of energy, I mean, I don't actually have a client on me currently. It can't pull up from the client within the Mercurial Eye. If you're out of energy mid -air. your passive abilities will not go, so you don't have to worry about dying if you run out of EMC or glowstone. Um, but yeah, I think I've showed off almost everything. Now we are going to put them to good use. Not sure if you noticed, but uh, there's a certificate village there. <laughs> I think they've lived a little too long, don't you? <laughs> So I've got my fire ring, my lava amulet, my uh, cascading lens. Oh look, he's running. You can't run from the lava. Maybe you can actually. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what was I doing in the rest of this tutorial? I don't even know. <laughs> Burn. This is what you get for not having a nice furnace area. <laughs> this is fun. However, I'm causing lag. 
The 30 FPS I'm limited to are actually dropping a bit. Wow. Oh god, no. No. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah. Uh. Yep, I'm actually causing myself lag. Stop it, stop it, stop burning, stop it. Okay. Uh. Pretty easy to destroy their entire livelihood, don't you think? This is the Time Star tutorial again, not just the genocide tutorial. I think since I have a little time left over, I'll go through our chemical bags a bit more. Um, you right click on it and you get a huge inventory. And you can just put that in a chest and it'll be fine. But say you should die, say you should die, yeah? And all this stuff's in the bag then you think, oh no, I lost everything. But, if it's the same person, all your stuff stays in the same bag. This can't be used for duplication. I mean, look, see, I've got one bag, I'll take all my stacks out, and it's gone from both. Yeah, can't, well, I can't say that sucks, really. It's, it's to be expected. But, yes, I think that about covers it. With these bags, you can shift click things into them. Hold on, shift and click. Very convenient to fill them up. Things like the black hole band, void ring, can be very useful for doing stuff like this. I lost my void ring. Oh, it's in the bag, isn't it? Yes, it is. Might be fun to teleport for a bit. Anyways, this video is pretty much over. Um, hope you enjoyed, everyone. This was on request of Austin. I would take requests from anyone who asks for something. Uh, there are plenty more flatland wheels to destroy, you know. Plenty more. And there's lots of destructive stuff in Tekkit. Like, comment, favorite, describe, anything of that you like. I am Ryan. And I always will be, probably. <laughs> Why did I do that? Anyways, goodbye for now.